Hey, what's up, Reefers? This video is about me showing you how I butchered my priced orange bubble tip anatomy. Now, this is another great reminder that I am not an expert. I'm just a hobbyist who happened to have a YouTube channel that shares all his uh, adventure and misadventure. For great advice on keeping a awesome reef tank that many YouTube channels out there is perfect. But for this one, it's pretty much just me sharing my life with you. This story does have a happy ending, so be sure to stick to the end. Now, there's one thing I need your help with. Because by the time you watch this video, I will actually be in Hong Kong. And this time my schedule is actually pretty free for the next week. I actually have time to, to slow down and explore. So I will absolutely go check out Gopher Street. Um, that's where I grew up. But I also really want to check out some of the reef aquarium, like locally to Hong Kong. So if you know some good places I have to check out, please be sure to leave a comment. In fact, if you are watching this video in Hong Kong right now, leave a comment. I got some personal questions that I would love to ask you and get your advice. If you want to follow along on my Hong Kong journey exploring the different aquarium, be sure to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Inappropriate Reefer. All right, with that out of the way, let me show you how I f***ed up my anatomy. Hey, what's up, Reefers? We're able to go live on YouTube right now, but we're gonna do a quick video first. But check this out. Myra is playing this really awesome game called Abzu, I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's about basically a free dive for exploring different underwater scenes, and I just got the game, man. Is it fun? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so today, I'm gonna remove the rainbow bolt of an enemy from the drop-off tank and hand it over to Sally, who's behind the camera. Let's switch over to Sally. Yes! The way I remove an enemy is kind of unconventional. It may not be the best way, but this is just the way that works for me. Essentially, I'll wait for the anatomy to start moving first. If you want to swing over and take a look at the anatomy, you'll see the foot. So this anatomy, if you've been following this channel, it has been sitting in the crevice. But recently, it's decided to move because it's a little bit too big. It wants a, a little bit more water flow. So it started crawling out of the hole. And as a result, part of the foot is exposed. And that presents the perfect opportunity for me to kind of tear it off the rock. And tearing is actually a terrible word because the worst thing you could do to an anatomy is to tear its foot. A lot of times they'll get infection and they'll not recover. Okay. So the way I've been doing it, I use a toothpick. I will kind of break off the sharp end first so it's not as bad. I mean, you still stab the anatomy if you do it wrong. So you have to be really careful. But at least this way it's not too sharp, it's a little bit blunted. And what I want to do is like, I want to go in there and just lift the foot a little bit. And then I go switch over, use the smooth part to kind of roll the foot off. So use the part to kind of squeeze under the foot. And as you lift the foot, you feel like it's almost like suction coming kind of popping off a little bit. See how the foot, uh... so if you can see the edge, usually you can get it off, but it may take a little bit of time. Okay, this may take a while actually, let's see, oh, there you go. Okay. See how it's kind of like peeling off a little bit? But you gotta be really careful not to actually rip it. And I'm trying to use the side, not the tip. You'll still get some mucus at the tip, but uh, I'm consciously trying to use the smooth side to kind of like roll it, roll off of it. Right now I'm just trying to get it to shrink a little bit. So it's easier to maneuver the toothpick. And there's a lot of different methods. Some people use ice. Some people use uh, just power head pointing at it to force it to kind of move. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna break the toothpick in half so it's a little bit easier to maneuver. And this usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes, but this one may be a little bit quicker. So if I'm really patient, sometimes I can just keep massaging it. I'll put an ice in here. But does do they react to ice? They do. They kind of like shy away from ice, but it takes a while too. It's not immediate. So right now I'm just kind of like rubbing it. See how the foot is half of it is lifted up already. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of working it from a different angle. Wherever I could uh, stick my hand in there, I would just stick my hand in there. And I think the where it is does not help too, because I got to like bend really awkwardly. Bend awkwardly? Yeah. <laughs> usually the last bit is usually a toss. Oh, well, look what Myra did there. I don't know, she just gave something to. Oh wow, Stingray. <laughs> anyway. Okay, we're almost there. I think we're at the last bit. Hmm. 
Hmm. What happened? It's like it's like stuck in here. Let me see if we can just tear the rock. I'll break a small piece of rock. I may actually have ripped it. Let me see. Is it? I may have. Hello, ma. Keep going, keep going. It's okay. I'm trying to decide. Should I just pull it out? Mm -hmm. Or just let it recover? But if I recover, it's still there. It's gonna sting all these things. It's gonna flow. It should still have enough to attach. Do you, do you want to try it in your tank? I feel like it should still be okay. Yeah. Just don't put it on the MP10 yet. No, 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 no. Yeah. Because like I said, I was mine is already in pieces and it's still recovered. And I think there's enough foot here. Even though I do kind of rip it in half. Okay, we'll go for it. That's the route, right? Yeah. We may end up with two or three. What do you mean? If they all recover. Oh yeah. Do you think they'll still survive? I think this piece will. That pe these, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it. Yeah, I'm just gonna rip it out. Wow, that's so sad. Yep. Oh, I'm scared. Yep. Oh. All right, we got two pieces. Um. You sure? This could recover, actually. It's big enough. But I think you should uh, maybe. You... I think even my tank, I'm not sure if I could. Lego, hold on. Yours maybe because there's no flow. Mm -hmm. It has enough. Um... This one is gonna suck into mine. You wanna try it? Oh uh, yeah, where's sir? I guess I can. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. Otherwise, you're gonna die anyways. Yeah. If the condition is good, it could recover. Mm-hmm. But... Hopefully. I thought it's connected to. So even though like the roots dies doesn't matter. Yeah, it should be okay as long as it got a part of the foot. Oh. Even some of the tissue. Oh. And they will just regenerate and then regrow a mouth. <laughs> Let me see the other piece. Actually. Are you gonna clean up the mess? <laughs> I'm gonna pull out what I can. Yeah. And I'll leave whatever base is in there. I think it will regenerate. Probably, and it's gonna go small. We will see. We'll oh. see. But do I want it in here? I think, mm, I don't know. Do I want it growing back here? Yeah, I think I'll leave it. Okay. There's enough that I think it'll probably regenerate, even mm -hmm. though it looks like shit right now. <laughs> So we'll see how that goes. If not, that's fine. The purpose is that it does not st keep stinging the Rasta. Mm -hmm. And if this one actually does regenerate in your tank. That'd be great. That means we got two. If not, well, we got this guy. Got, got two in guy. here? No, it's one piece. Oh, okay. It's one piece. That's fine. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, Just well. leave it in low flow. Uh-huh. Ooh, poor thing. I'll say 50-50. 50-50. We'll see how it goes. That piece, I think it should regenerate. Alright, so I think what went wrong, obviously it came out in pieces, is that I did not anticipate that there's a hole, there's a crevice in that rock. I thought it was just sitting on like a smooth round rock. But as I started lifting the foot, part of the foot is trapped inside that hole. And I was trying to pull it out and I noticed that, you know what, it looks like I actually ripped the, ripped the mouth a little bit already. So at that point I'm just like, eh, let's, just, let's just go for it. And as a result, we got a big chunk out, which is right here. It's about half the anatomy, it got some part of the foot as well. Uh, we're gonna give it a try, we're gonna give it Sally, who has a really low flow tank, so it's not gonna get blown all over the place. 
uh, we'll see if it recovers in there. Uh, while over here, the other half of the foot is still firmly attached and it's still got a like, good amount of tentacles on there. So I think most likely that will be okay. With the added benefit that now it's much smaller obviously and it's not going to reach the Rasta in a while. So I think uh, once we recover, I may try it again. And this time I may... I'm not sure if I want to use the power head to move it because it really... It's really uh, sticking yeah, hard uh, in there. The rocks, uh, use, a lot of holes. use ice. Ice... Yeah, I'll probably try ice. Or well, I may just tear it out. Or well, I may just like chip off that rock. We'll see. But attempt number one. Failed. We got half. Well, it may not be a complete failure. If this recovers and that grows out, then it's like uh, splitting, right? That's... Then that's actually a... Uh, good thing. Good thing. Three days later. Alright guys, so it has been about three days since the incident and the piece in my tank is recovering really well uh, so I have been really lucky uh, if you remember the piece is actually up here and it decided to move to the side as it recovers which worked out perfectly because this way it's not stinging the Rastas um, if you can see from the rock you see there's a little ledge right there that I did not know was there because it was covered up by the oral disc of the anatomy so part of the foot was buried under that that little overhang uh, and that's I think that's how I ripped the anatomy so I'm really lucky that the piece in my tank is doing well and furthermore the piece in Sally's tank is also doing really well so they're both uh, grabbing onto the rock and recovering nicely so once they both develop their mouth um, we're gonna start feeding them aggressively to help speed up the healing process now this video serve as a, uh, a warning to just be patient and if one method is not working don't force it. I was forcing it, so I ended up ripping the anatomy, causing this whole issue. But uh, we we were really lucky. Oh, I was really lucky that both pieces recovered beautifully. So now we have two of these orange bubble tip anatomy, but it could have gone way worse. So just be patient. And again, I like to share everything with you guys on what's happening in my reef tank. Whether it's the the good, the bad, and the ugly. And in this case, man, this. This is really ugly. Um, this is really ugly. I was almost too embarrassed to post this, but I figured, you know what? You guys have been with me like since the beginning along the way. Let's. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna <laughs> put myself in the hot seat. I know the negative comments are coming, but hey, part of the hobby, part of the learning process. All right. With that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next Sunday at 9:30 a.m. sharp. Have a great week, guys. this week's video but for the most part the 45 gallon tank is doing pretty well and I just gotta figure out where things goes and what I can get rid of um, without crying too much